Hello friends, I'm Captain Kishore and in this episode of School Mentors, we will be talking about Marine Radar and its working principle. Radar is a detection system that uses radio waves to determine the range, angle or velocity of objects. It is an electromechanical aid which not only points out the presence of ships, buoys, the coast etc. but also measures the bearing and range and often indicates the nature of these objects. The navigational radar can serve not only for position fixing but moreover as an anti-collision aid. It is important to know that it gives the same information during the day as well as the night. A radar system consists of a transmitter producing electromagnetic waves in the radio or microwave domain, a transmitting antenna, a receiving antenna, a receiver and finally a processor to determine the properties of the target. Radio waves from the transmitter reflects off the object and return to the receiver giving information about the object location and speed. Looking at the history of radar, we find that it was developed secretly for military use by several nations in the period before and during the World War II. A key development was the cavity magnetron in the UK which allowed for the creation of a relatively small system. The term radar was coined in 1940 by the United States Navy as an acronym for radio detection and ranging. A radar system has a special transmitter which generates very short pulses of radio waves in a narrow beam by means of a directional aerial. When one of these pulses hits a target, part of the radiated energy is reflected back by the target in all directions, including back to the source ship. This reflected pulse is called an echo. This echo is received by the vessel and with the help of a CRT or commonly known as monitor, the time which has elapsed between the transmission and reception is accurately measured and displayed. Since the receiving aerial collects only a very small part of the radiated energy, the transmitter is made to generate very powerful pulses. The transmitting aerial is rotated at constant speed and the beamed pulse are radiated at a very short equal intervals, thus permitting the whole horizon to be scanned. Now let's look at the working principle of the marine radar in detail. In the master oscillator, pulses of very short duration are generated. The number of pulses per second is called pulse repetition frequency. The pulses are passed to the modulator whose function is to generate a very high voltage during a short period of time when the pulse is received and then to pass it to the magnetron. Magnetron can be considered as a special type of valve and is equipped with a powerful magnet and generates very high strong oscillations of extremely high frequency required in the radar. This is done only as long as the modulator supplies a voltage to the magnetron. During this time, very strong signals are generated. This radio energy passes to the aerial by way of the waveguides via a triar switch and then is radiated outwards. A sensitive receiver is connected to the same aerial as the transmitter. But to protect the receiver from damage from the powerful transmitted pulse, a very fast transmit receive switch is required one that automatically blocks the receiver during the transmission. This can only be accomplished by an electronic switch usually known as TR switch or TR cell. Although the reflected radar signals captured by the receiving antenna are usually very weak, they can be strengthened by electronic amplifiers and converted into an electrical pulse by the receiver which is then made visible on the CRT. The picture on your screen shows a specimen of what the radar screen looks like at night. In this picture, you can see the echoes being received from various vessels as well as the land. Well, that's it for today. In our next episode, we will be talking about the main 8 controls on the radar console. Thanks for watching and do subscribe to our channel if you have not done so far. And do give us the motivation to continue by clicking on the thumbs up below. Jai Hind!